new tonight and only on Fox. Something that could really happen to anybody. A Houston area family fears their two purebred, unneutered dogs were stolen while in the care of a dog sitter. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live in downtown with this exclusive story tonight. Randy. Yeah, Ross, you know, the dog's owner has filed a criminal complaint with the Harris County Sheriff's Office, but tonight no charges have been filed yet against the dog sitter who the dog owner found on care.com. I want my dogs back. The Neaton family is missing two family members, Ducks and Maxie. I keep telling myself that they're going to come back and then the next day, whole day goes by and nothing. Ducks and Maxie are unaltered purebred miniature Australian shepherds. They're both ASDR registered dogs, come from great pedigree. The two purebred dogs at Bell, a rescue, needed a dog sitter from Friday, December 22nd through Sunday, December 31st. Matthew Neaton turned to care.com. We've used them off and on for the last 10 years. Hey. Sit. But Matthew says the dog sitter, who they had never used before, wasn't staying in contact. She said she was going to send us texts with pictures and video every day uh, to check in, make sure the dogs are okay. Did that happen? No. On December 27th, Care.com told Matthew the dog sitter canceled the booking and their money was returned. After two days, two and a half days of no response, on the 29th, we called the Harris County Sheriff's Office and filed a police report. When the family got back to town on New Year's Eve, Matthew says he texted the dog sitter. We got a text from another number that we didn't know that said, we saw your number come across our daughter's phone. She was in a really bad car wreck and is in a coma at Houston Methodist. Um, your dogs are at yet another address. When Matthew went to that address, the woman there denied knowing the dog sitter. She told us that as well. What did they say happened to your dogs? They said somebody had come in and dropped them off, that they didn't know the dogs were there. Um, that they would have never let anybody bring dogs there. Bell was found by Galena Park Police on December 28th and is now back home. But Docs and Maxie, where thousands are nowhere to be found. I think the dogs were stolen. Again, no criminal charges filed yet against the dog sitter. We reached out to care.com for a comment, but we've yet to hear back. If you have any information on the whereabouts of these missing dogs, we have the dog owner's contact information on our website. Reporting near downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.